Uh, Herc, let's start with the positives first, shall we? This messy stuff is so much fun, isn't it? It is. It really is. It, it seems like it's been scripted. It's a Hollywood movie. Everybody seems to be enjoying themselves. This is what Messi came for. Listen, nobody wanted to see a laboring Messi, a 36-year-old Messi who would suffer with the heat, suffer with his teammates uh, tactically, technically, the speed of play, etc. He just came from an offseason. That's not been the case. He's running on all cylinders. The man is scoring goals for fun. He seems to be having a, a walk in the park with, with his buddies, Messi and friends, and just destroying MLS and Liga Mekis competition. It's interesting, boys, isn't it? Like, from day one at PSG, you didn't feel like he quite fitted in or was no. quite enjoying the experience. Mm. It's quite the opposite here. You could see him smiling, happy, playing 90 minutes, getting involved. Some, scoring when scoring somebody was goals. tackling him two or three times, he didn't look quite so happy then. But yeah, he's, in, he's enjoying the play. He's obviously getting on with his teammates. He scored, was it five goals in yeah. three games? Couldn't be going any better for him, really, could it? It's kind of cool in its theory. No, it's great to watch. Yeah. I, I mean, he's, he's, surprise, surprise, he's way better than anybody else on the field. Um, and he's getting more time uh, to play the game that he knows and, and, and loves. So I'm not surprised he's doing what he's doing. I'm not surprised he's scoring goals. As he said, though, the most important thing is for anybody watching him and watching yeah. MLS, it's absolutely fantastic because this is a guy who's playing in a league that he's too good for. And whether it's Messi or anybody else... You, you see all the skills on show, so fantastic to watch. If you were still managing the Revs, would you enjoy this, being added to the league? As long as you weren't playing against them, yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, listen, absolutely 100%, yeah. But I think, I think what we saw from Orlando City was perfect. The only way you can play against him and Busquets and Alba and anybody else on the other side is to physically try and upset them. Yeah, don't roll out the red carpet. Correct, because you're not going to outplay them. Yeah. No, nobody's going to outplay Busquets and, and Messi in the middle of the park. So you have to employ tactics either to stifle them, which is getting physically in and around them, but if you can't get close to them, just get numbers behind the ball. Uh, that's, that's the only thing you can do. Should he be sent off, though, Herc? Uh, I mean, there's a arguable case for sure. Uh, I, I heard the highlights where everybody in the panel was mentioning that should have been his second yellow card. I agree. The problem is it says Messi on the back, and through the history of this game or any other sport, the superstars, they get that benefit of the doubt. The big teams, the Real Madrid, the Barcelonas, whatever sport may be, it ends up going this way. Listen, there's no referee uh, on this continent that's going to be the smart guy that's going to try being the protagonist and hand a Messi a second yellow for something that's even dubious or or, or a shadow of a doubt that's not going to happen uh, we can make the case for the penalty we can make the case for for Messi being maybe sent off uh if you will but it's Messi nobody's going to do that I don't, I don't see these referees doing that now I, I would like to go back to what Stevie was saying about playing physical with Messi I actually think the opposite like when we've seen Messi at his best it's angry Messi go back to Qatar in the 2022 World Cup against Netherlands that's actually the last time Messi was booked before this game that's the best version of Messi a Messi who's invested emotionally one of the main criticisms that Messi's had from his home own uh, homeland back in Argentina is that he's been labeled sometimes as a pecho frío that he doesn't care enough well when he's been emotionally invested in the game we've seen him at his best I think it's the wrong route to take with with Messi you need to get him as disinterested in the game or being on the field as possible, not getting him, excuse me, emotionally invested in what's going on. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.